Okay, here's your quick tip. This quick tip is about um, a method for setting up a preliminary drawing for still life. You you use or you you're better off to think differently uh, when setting up a, a still life preliminary drawing than you are for a landscape. Um, it's because for landscape we're dealing more with depth. With still life, we're dealing more with shape and shape placement, even though there might be some depth there. One point is for a preliminary drawing, don't try to put every detail in. All we need for a preliminary drawing is the placement of shapes, just enough placement of shapes so that you um, can find your way around and depend upon the painting itself later on in the development of painting for the details. You can also use preliminary drawing to make notes for yourself. You know, it's sort of your it's sort of your outline if you were an author and you were writing a book. Uh, you might want to start out with a basic outline and that's what a preliminary drawing is. Now this is where the real thought takes place. So you know don't rush through a preliminary drawing. Spend some time with it. Be sure you've got it right. You get your preliminary drawing right, you have a better chance of getting the painting right. First consideration is placement. This particular photograph has the placement of the subject right in the center of the photograph. Placing a single subject within the center of, of your painting is not a good idea. It doesn't have any dynamics. It's just like blob there. So want, you want to place it in so that it has a, a, a welcome balance. And usually we try to, um, um, it, a subject that if it's turned this direction, then you want to place it on the opposite side from the direction it's turned. Um, another thing is that when you're placing, here's one thing you might consider. Uh, consider the rule of thirds, or we could say the, the, um, uh, the um, golden principle, where, where this is the center, and so the placement would be somewhere between the center and one of the corners. So, or, or two of the corners. So we want, might want to place the weight of it like more over in this area. And the other thing is materials you use. If you're doing oil painting um, it, or acrylic. Acrylic, um, I wouldn't use acrylic paint for doing the preliminary drawing because it's going to go down, it's going to stay put. So you need to have the ability to manipulate it and uh, uh, you know, do changes. So with oil painting, uh, you could use a, a sort of a flattened brush like this um, so that you can get a, a nice line. Or my favorite way of setting, a of setting up a preliminary drawing is with my Tombow N65. Or one of the Tombow pens, it doesn't matter which one. I, I prefer uh, the gray ones most of the time. There's no reason why you can't set up a preliminary drawing with a pencil. Uh, the, it, it does tend to smear, but it, it, all that goes away. If you're working with watercolor, setting your preliminary drawing up with a pencil is a wonderful idea. You, you can change it and, and uh, manipulate it. I'm using, t for this setup, I'm using just the Tombow pen. All right, so placement. That means, so in this subject, that means that I would do the placement sort of right over here. Now sometimes what I will do is I will make myself a little division, a half-half and half-half here gives me a stronger sense of the division of space. By doing that, I might decide, okay, I'd like my placement right in here. Now, this is a good idea to just sort of block in, just a general block in, a uh, shape block in, of um, where it's going to be. And, and so when we do that, uh, so we don't want that on the center there, then we can do some, some, some check things. Now what I'm noticing is, yeah, I have it blocked in, but it's all seems to have a turn of being just um, flat horizontal, I'd like for it to have a little more tilt. With a Tombow pen, you can use a dampened paper towel <laughs> and just take it away and do it again. Now, that's, this is not picky. This is, just, uh, this is just being careful. So this time, I'll place a little bit uh, closer attention to the, that, that didn't get that dry enough, which is probably a good thing to see too because if it's, the surface is too wet, the Tombow doesn't like to go on it. Okay, with this one, this time, uh, still the idea of most, most of the weight down here, I would look at the angle, it's the angle right here, and I will honor that angle. I look at the angle, the general angle here, 
honor that angle. I look at the angle here. Honor that angle. This angle. This angle. This angle. This angle. There and there. And then I begin to kind of angularly map out the shapes, the major shapes. And then, now you can begin to see how the whole thing would fall into place. There's a major shape. Uh, here's a shape that might, might count right there as a major shape. And any other shapes that you want to throw in there. That's all you really, really need uh, for setting up the still life drawing. From that point, you could make any edits that you wanted to. And, um, or if you wanted to round corners and that sort of thing, you could do that. But uh, from here, I like to take the preliminary drawing and go to the no-tan. And I find that gives a very, very lively uh, setup. I know where to go. I've got it placed. It's kind of my road map, or you might say my outline uh, for moving forward now with the painting and knowing I've got it uh, put in the right place for composition. So there's your quick tip.